USA funded project called Legal Professional and Anti-Corruption Project Program. It's funded by USAID and uh, as you mentioned, we have worked with the ACFB on a number of projects. We're big supporters of the ACFB uh, and we certainly have worked with them on a number of their events and we have worked with the ACFB putting together this very important training. Our goal is to develop uh, capacity amongst people, officers of the government particularly, that specialise in identifying fraud. And, uh, it's not just about investigating it, it's not just about prosecuting it, it's also about catching it in the first place. So we realised very early on that we had to work very closely with the auditors, the members of the ACFB, uh, GAC auditors, the IAA auditors and other auditors and accountants uh, in government, so that they're able to better identify patterns of fraud and fraudulent conduct so that they can make really strong reports. So those reports turn into good evidence and that evidence turns into a good investigation which leads to a prosecuting it. Now, we are coming to the end of our project. Uh, I think the money runs out effectively in the middle of this year. Um, we're petitioning for an extension. We think there's a lot more work to be done. We'd like to keep going, and we'd also like to make sure that we can have a flourishing program, a series of programs of assistance, formal training, informal training, uh, all sorts of technical support, and keep that going for, the, for as long as we can. But at this stage, the project officially ends in um, the middle of this year, and it's up in the air whether we'll be able to keep going. But I think uh, the overall impression is that the people we work, the people we work with at the LACC and the LMP, uh, the auditors and so on, uh, I think are really grateful for the type of program and training that we do. Our training is very operational, it's very real, it's based on real life situations. We like people to leave the training with real skills. It's not just sitting there listening to or watching a PowerPoint delivery. It's focused with uh, scenarios and practical skill-based learning. And they should come out, and hopefully Gus will say the same thing, they should come out with real practical skills that they can use in their job the very next day. In addition, we also like to follow up our training, our formal training, with informal training. We like to be able to liaise and see how the training worked and if it's being, if being employed properly and utilised by, by uh, the people that we train, particularly when we do sort of uh, investigation training with the LACC and other related fraud investigation agencies like that. So that's a, the that's a style of training we've been doing over the past three years and hopefully uh, with a bit of support we can pr continue to do so once our project is extended. I want to do it when the benefit immensely. Because for the fact that we have our auditors all around in the field, right? Doing audits, extracting data, doing data uh, manipulation, so to come to this training that is basically for data analysis, called data analytics training, is very, very much more useful to our auditors, useful to us, it's going to benefit the IA immensely. Okay. You see, even when a child is born, it takes time for the child to grow. Just as you have said, we have not been into all of this that we are doing, but the fact that we are beginning to see them come on board, we are very, very much sure that within the next two, three, four years, you will see a lot of progress being made. With this training, I can assure you very well that our auditors, that our ACFE members will be able to do a lot for our country, and our country is going to be benefiting, we're going to progress, we're going to, be far, we're going to move forward, more especially with the fight against corruption, we're going to make sure. But here is, here is the catch on two situation about corruption, right? Corruption, yes, we can do our part. It's both uh, professional and it's also political. So we can do our part to bring the live evidence, the facts that corruption do exist, but it's also left with the politician to take the necessary measure again in the fight again. We have had so many workshops, especially on the core content of our profession. Uh, but this time around, we, as we all know, we Labra is gearing towards automated or uh, processing e-commerce and e-government. Mm -hmm. So we as auditors and investigators are uh, working institutions that are responsible for anti-craft. So um, we thought it was to be able to have some hands-on training um, in the area of data analytics, especially forensic. So with that idea, we sought support from the uh, LPA, which is a user project for 
legal and anti-corruption and the body idea to be able to support us and this is how we organize the program. We, we think that uh, enhancing, sharpening the skills of auditors and investigators would be the best way to go, especially in IT. So we, we thought that we could have some training, especially so we wanted uh, to acquire uh, software that would be able to make our work easier. Um, there are some takeaways. We feel that um, they might not be at expert level or advanced level, but there have been some introduction to some skills that um, many of them did not have before, or even if they have, they have been added. So we think that the capacity has been built as to some extent, and we're hoping that with continued practice and training, the, we're going to be expert in their own capacity. And we hope that as they go to the various offices, um, they, they're going to be different in the way they do their work.